Hello everyone and welcome to the Geeks for Geeks channel. And today we're going to start our competitive coding journey with a simple question. So we have already held a webinar on how to begin with competitive programming. So if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. The link will be given in the description below. Guys, please watch this video till the end to get the most out of it. So let's talk about our question. So in the question, we are given a string S and our task is to find the count of the maximum repeated frequency character in the given string. Okay, we are given some simple uh, sample inputs uh, as follow. Uh, for example, if we are given an input geeks geeks, here the frequency two is repeated three times. How we how it is? So the G is let the letter G is coming two times in the string here and here. Okay, and the letter E is coming four times. And similarly, letter K is coming two times and S is coming two times. So the frequency two is repeated thrice and thrice. Okay, for the characters G, K and S. So this will be the answer. The frequency two is repeated thrice. So what will be the maximum repeated frequency? Two. Okay. So here we have our sample input two, uh, where there's a string A, B, C, D and this and the let's talk about the explanation first in this string so the a is coming two times where it is one a is here and the second a is here and similarly the b is also coming two times the c is also coming two times and the d is also coming two times and the e is coming three times so according to this what is the frequency which is repeated maximum times the two frequency it is repeated four times so the output should be the frequency two is repeated four times so now we are going to talk about the solution to this question so if you guys want to try this question on your own, you can pause this video right now and try to try to figure it out yourself. And don't forget to like this video as well. So now let's talk about our approach for solving this problem. So the most efficient approach is as below. The, our idea is to store the frequency of the character of the strings in an array of size 26. Since there are 26 alphabets in the English vocabulary, so that would be enough for us to store each and every uh, each and every occurrence of characters okay so second we have to create a hash map to store the count of the frequencies of the characters and return the frequency which occurred the most time and the time complexity for this solution is o big o n okay so there are certain steps we will follow to solve this question the first step in the first step, we will create a hash array to store the frequency of the characters. The second, we'll make a loop to find the frequency of the characters. The, in the third, we'll create a hash map to store the occurrence of the frequency of the character. And the fourth, we'll make a loop to find the maximum repeated frequency from the hash map. So let's move forward to the coding part. And we will be using the Geeks for Geeks online IDE for solving this question. It supports many languages. So you guys must try it out if you haven't. On ide.geeksforgeeks.org well i am using c++ to solve this but you can use any other language as well by just following the steps so first we will include the necessary header file so let's start by creating a function find max frequency which takes string s as an input Let's go to the first step. So what was the first step? We'll create a hash array to store the frequency of the character. So let's create a hash array by just. So uh, this statement here initializes all the array elements to the zero. Now we will move forward to the second step. That is make a loop to find the frequency of the characters. So the reason why we are using this statement over here is that we need to increment the count of each letter appearing more than one time since ARR is an INT type array, we will denote its first element as A, second as P and so on. So to find the respective position of S ith character, the ith character in the S array, we will have to subtract, subtract the A, the ASCII value of A from it. So now let's move forward to the step 3. That is we have to create a hash map to store the occurrence of the frequency of the character. Uh, 
now what we are doing is we are making a loop to insert the values in the hash map so here we are just checking the value arr i whether it is zero or not and we are only adding the value which is not equals to zero in the hash map by this statement now let's move forward to the final step and the fourth step of our solution that is to make a loop to find the maximum repeated frequency from the hash map now i will make two variables max count and res for the maximum count and the result So here the statement says that for every element i in the hash map hash. So remember hash map is a key value pair based and the key is i dot first and the value of that key is i dot second. So with this our program is complete and we can just uh, output the result and maximum count. So here we go. Uh, now, now with this our function find max frequency is complete so we can just call it in a main method now with this our code is complete so let's try and run this with the same input geeks geeks Okay, so there's a few errors here. So there's a type error, error over here. We have to just do this. And also the header file is std C++, not std. And also there's a semicolon missing here. Okay, so let's try to rerun this again. And here we go. Okay, so here is our out output. Frequency two is repeated three times. So uh, let's see how this is working for now. So, okay. So now let's talk about the values in the ARR and the hash map. Okay. So here's a brief represent representation of the values in the array and the hash map. As I told you that the hash map is the key value pair based data structure. So only the key here is two and four. Since there are only two values, two and four in the array. As you can see that I told you that the array will be representing our alphabets. So the zeroth element will be representing A alphabet. And similarly, the fourth value will be representing the eighth alphabet, which is occurring four times in the string. So this is uh, the hash map result of our program. And as we can see, the key two is coming three times. That is on G, K and S for our solution for our problem okay and similarly the four is occurring only one time for our string geeks geeks so that's it for this video and we hope you like it if you like it just give us a like below and drop us a comment down below and share it with all of your friends thank you